Nearly a year after the Fukushima meltdown, Japanese officials in charge of the nuclear cleanup stand accused of going through the motions. Scientists say the process is flawed and some families are facing evacuation for a second time. Hiroko Yamazaki and her family are fast losing faith in Japanese authorities. After the Fukushima disaster, they were forced to leave their hometown of Nami and now they're living in a newly built accommodation. But they've discovered their subsidised apartment in Nihon Matsu stands on foundations contaminated with radiation. I was completely shocked. I never imagined that we would have to keep running away from radiation. I don't feel safe and I don't trust anyone anymore. In Nami, meanwhile, work continues on decontaminating the town and Japan's environment minister believes the $14 billion post-Fukushima cleanup can succeed where Chernobyl failed. No country has experienced decontamination work on this scale before. It will be the first time anyone's attempted decontamination, which is aimed at enabling people to return to their homes. Experts in the field say radioactive fallout that accumulates in soil and plants and on the outside of buildings can be reduced by extensive washing down. But the Japanese government is being criticised for just putting on a show. You have to shave off five millimetres from soil, two millimetres from asphalt or concrete and cut leaves off trees and you have to collect and process all the water that is used for decontamination. Without those steps, you can't decontaminate anywhere. Crisis management officials are urging people to be patient, although they concede the cleanup will take years. But they believe they will succeed in making Japan's abandoned towns livable once again. Gloria Kleisch, ABC News.